Welcome to the channel guys, we are back again for another First Impression Friday and today I'm going to be talking about two fragrances from Zerzhov. I'm going to be looking at Uden and Kobe, so stay tuned for that. If you like the content, hit that like and subscribe button, really do appreciate it. So Zerzhov is a house that a lot of people are familiar with, niche house, they have some of the best presentation in the game. They have a lot of fragrances, so it is hard to know which ones are for you. Um, you know, I personally love a lot of their fragrances. Italica, amazing. Naxos, amazing. Neo, absolutely fantastic. So of course, I wanted to try uh, more of their fragrances. Uden does get talked about as well as Kobe. Uh, so I thought I would get some samples of them and uh, see what I think about these two. So I'm gonna do first impressions. Um, and I think I'm gonna start with Uden just because you know what, why not? They recently released an overdose version, which I guess is like a, an intense, and I would like to try that. But uh, for starters anyways, I did get the Uden. I kind of wanted anyways the, uh, or to try the original to sort of at least have a basis for comparison to see really what's different with the um, overdose. But anyways, let's get into it. That's not quite what I was expecting, but that is really nice. There's freshness. I think I'm getting a uh, lemon. So there is a, a quite a citrus element. It's very fresh. Like a slight sweetness, but not really. It's more like, um, if anything, there's a very strong citrus and that citrus does have a little bit of sweetness to go along with it nothing too potent uh, just kind of subtle in the background gives it a very pleasant accord it's you know it's slightly musky but not really it's mostly citrus at this point i want to dump a little bit more on there uh, just to get a little bit better feel for it but um yeah, that's actually quite nice. So, give it one more sif sniff before I switch to uh, Kobe. Yeah, that is definitely opening up very citric. Um, again, it's actually just white, slightly sweet. Reminds me of maybe eating fruit in the morning or something like that. Um, very... Very citric, very uh, tasty smelling. Fresh, uplifting, very enjoyable. So, I'm gonna let Uden digest a little bit, dry down a little bit, see if it sort of changes in the next couple of minutes. I'm gonna give Kobe a try now, see what the opening of this one is like. Got a little whiff of that right away. Now the initial burst is interesting. When I was actually pouring it on my skin, it smelt a little bit green, but I don't know how much of that greenness I actually get now that I'm it's on my skin and I'm actually smelling it. There is something there uh, that does give it a little bit of a almost herbal, but not really almost green kind of feel, but not really. I get a hint of citrus, but not much. It's not very strong on that citrus element. I actually find it a little bit quieter than I was expecting based on that first pour, I guess you could call it. Okay, so that one is, does remind me a little bit of the outdoors, a little bit of plant life for some reason. And there is definitely a little bit of a kind of green floral vibe that is definitely starting to, there's a little bit of a citrus element starting to develop. And it does actually have um, 
a little bit of woodiness there too. I think it's similar, similar category as Uden, at least off first impression, but um, it's actually much woodier. And uh, it feels like a lot more grounded as opposed to the more citrusy elements of Uden. But I'm going to go back to Uden, uh, give it a sniff, see what I think uh, about how it's developed a little bit. So with Uden, a lot of these citrus elements have really started to taper off. So where it opened up with a lot of lemon and other citrusy elements and a slight sweetness uh, with a little bit of muskiness. That sweetness, or sorry, the, um, the citrus has really sort of toned down. And now it's much more of like a woody, musky fragrance. I get a hint just a hint of the coffee that's in this one, but um, it's not particularly strong. I'm actually a little surprised um, the initial slight sweetness. I don't actually pick up on any of that um, anymore. But it does have, it actually has a little bit of a masculine feel to it. Um, it is a little bit more subtle. And it does have um, a nice smooth quality to it. And there is something in it that's giving it a little bit of an earthy kind of a feel. Not um, super earthy, not like an Ancre Noir or a really strong sort of vetiver kind of earthiness, but I think it's the, the woodiness there that's really sort of bringing it into this sort of earthy kind of a I almost want to say relaxing kind of a feel that it has. Okay, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to go back to Kobe see if that one has um, developed and how it's developed and see what's going on with that one. So this one actually is developing. I feel like it's a little bit stronger now than Uden, although it was even still initially on the first drop much stronger but I definitely get a different kind of earthiness so it doesn't have that sort of um, really woody kind of almost vetiver like earthiness this one has more of a slightly floral um, slightly relaxed and almost reminds me a little bit of tea to be honest with you I still get a little bit of a um, a slight citrusy vibe. It's not particularly strong, but there is a little bit of citrus there. And a slight amount of sweetness um, that's really sort of rounding it out. But it does have, I think, a little bit more character than Uden. But it has this sort of robust, almost green feel, but not like a, you know, not like a grassy or not like a really, really intense greenness, but it does have something that it's giving it this sort of really nice green feel again, that is almost slightly tea-like. Um, and it's very nice, relaxing, uh, subdued fragrance, but it does have, it does certainly have some projection and it has some character and some strength behind it as well. So all in all, um, you know, I think those are both interesting uh, offerings from Zerjoff, ones that I'm going to have to try a little bit more, do full reviews, get full thoughts on them. But as for, they both seem more like uh, warmer weather fragrances, um, especially, especially uh, Kobe. Although it is a little bit stronger, you could probably pull it off in the fall. There is something about it that I think uh, suits itself well to that uh, that occasion. And there's something there giving it an almost slight spice to it, but not too intense. But anyways, um, definitely better for the warmer weather. Uh, I think they're both casual fragrances. They both come off very casual, even though they are refined. They are um, definitely very polished, well-blended fragrances. 
And I think um, definitely the Uden one feels a little bit more masculine with the fact that it's coming off to me a lot stronger with the woodiness. And the entire composition in general does have a little bit more of masculine quality. Not that I would say that Kobe is at all feminine, really. It definitely has a little bit of a masculine quality to it as well. I think it is sort of that... Uh, a little bit green vibe, but it's not... It's it's a bit earthy more than green. But um, it's not, again, it's not like a vetiver... Really earthy kind of vetiver smell. But there is a little bit of earthiness there. Still getting a little bit of the citruses. Giving it a little bit of a pop, a little bit of a kick. A little bit of an uplifting feel. Um, I think both of them ultimately would be something you could wear in similar occasions. Casual, um, relaxed, nice day out. You know, going out, doing whatever it is that you're doing that day. Um, and it's just an easy wear, easy reach. I think both of them are going to be or are not particularly offensive fragrances. I think they are easy for a lot of people to get along with. I think Kobe is a little bit more uh, complex. I think there's a little bit more going on there than there is with respect to Uden. At least, again, off first impression. You know, with Uden, I definitely had... a a much richer, I think, citrus opening, but um, it's becoming a lot more wood-centric, which is interesting here, um, and does give it a nice sort of masculine feel because it is um, it is sort of a woody fragrance. But in that same token, I think it's a little bit less complex. It's a little bit more straightforward. And again, that's not a bad thing. I love a lot of very straightforward fragrances, but just to give you sort of impression of what I'm, I'm thinking here, um, I think Kobe is a little bit more complex. Anyways, I think I'm going to leave my first impressions there. That is Zerzhov Kobe, Zerzhov Uden. Um, let me know in a comment down below what you think of these fragrances. Did you like the overdose version of Uden? Is it uh, is it better? Is it more enjoyable for you? And uh, what other Zerzhov fragrances do you really like? Let me know. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.